As dawn stretches over an elephant sanctuary in northern Thailand, these handlers, or mahouts as they're known, take their elephants down to the river for a morning ritual. After a bath, this Canadian man prepares a special breakfast for them. So what I have here, this is some um, coffee, coffee cherries. What Blake Dinkin is trying to get them to eat is coffee beans. He's lived in Africa, Indonesia, and now Thailand, pursuing his dream. He's spent over a decade filled full of trials and errors, perfecting the technique. When I first tried it, I thought it'd be really as simple as taking some beans, giving it to an elephant, out will come great coffee. It was horrible, couldn't drink it. This elephant's digestive tract is the key part of a process of making the most expensive coffee in the world. John Roberts, who runs this elephant sanctuary, was skeptical at first. Um, my first reaction, I think, when, when I heard about it was probably the same as yours. What am I going to do uh, if the elephants ingest the coffee, if they ingest the caffeine? Am I going to have a lot of wide elephants on my hands, a lot of elephants with withdrawal symptoms and headaches and in a bad mood? What convinced him were blood tests that showed caffeine doesn't release into their systems. Oh, and there's a bean. It's the right one. Although she seems to have exhausted the beans on the last time, but there was a coffee bean in that one. Go on, poor lab. And the bottom line, every deposit is worth several hundred dollars. Old well, Blake pays by the kilo, so if I see a bean, I'm, I'm not immune to the coffee bean fever. Dinkin is aiming to produce 270 kilos of coffee this year at well over $1,000 per kilo. It's pricey, but most important is the taste. It's full bodied, there's no bitterness, and there's lingering notes of chocolate. Thank you. Andrew Lee, CBC News, Golden Triangle, Thailand.